That little party I went to? Where the Diddy party? Track we went to the uh, little private area. I got it, Behind the, uh, cause he had a house behind his house. Like he had a house, a backyard with a, his backyard with a fat bed. And then it had like a miniature little or whatever. And then. Hold up. Did Young Miami really recruit Krishan to be one of Diddy's side pieces at his freak off sessions? Chill, just when we thought this whole mess with Diddy couldn't get no messier, Carlissa just sent the internet into a frenzy after she spilled the tea about how Young Miami recruited Krishan to be Diddy's freak off girl. What's even crazier is that this whole recruiting ring actually goes much deeper than just Young Miami. Apparently, Diddy was also in cahoots with the producer of Baddies, Lamel Plummer, to service him some of the girls from the show. And Krishan was one of the people that Diddy had his eyes set on. Not only did Carlissa reveal this shocking information, but people also did some digging and pulled up some incriminating evidence. There's even a video of Krishan sounding super traumatized while narrating the whole thing, but people didn't take her seriously at the time because they thought she was just clout chasing. But with everything we know about Diddy now, it looks like he's caused some serious damage to Krishan as well. Now, in case most of y'all don't know right now, Diddy is in some very hot water. He's facing the possibility of going to jail after his house was raided by the feds. The feds revealed that the reason why they decided to raid his house was because of all of the trafficking allegations and countless lawsuits that have been filed against him by his alleged victims, with the latest lawsuit being filed by producer Lil Rod. This raid immediately brought more attention to Lil Rod's lawsuit, so people went back to read the transcripts and that's when they found out just how involved young miami was in diddy's shady business i mean we already knew how she helped diddy sa lil rod but an extended transcript of the lawsuit was recently made public and she was exposed for also helping him transport substances now if y'all remember lil rod accused miami of ordering one of her cousins to sa him while he was flat out drunk and hardly able to defend himself according According to court documents, Miami's cousin burst into the bathroom while he was inside, at which point she allegedly started groping him and performing oral acts without his consent. Joan said that he tried to push her away and left the restroom only to be followed by Miami's cousin, who then allegedly undressed and attempted to straddle him and have intercourse with him in front of Diddy and others. He also exposed Miami for receiving monthly payments from Diddy as a reward for servicing him girls for his party. He said Young Miami was among those who were paid a monthly fee by Diddy to work as his ex-workers. He went on to attach a few images from that night, and as y'all can see, Miami and her cousin, as well as Diddy, were having a wild time. As if the allegations couldn't get any worse, Miami is now also being accused of transporting pink coke for Diddy, which she would usually bring to him on her private jet. This was revealed in that extended version of Lil Rod's lawsuit. Robin Greenhill, the accountant, would ensure the wiring, funds transfer, or cash payments to ex-workers. Frankie Santella, Moy Bon, Brendan Paul, and KK would also be responsible for ensuring payment to ex-workers in cash. Young Miami, Jade, and Daphne Joy were paid a monthly fee to work as Mr. Combs' ex-workers and received a payment via wire transfer from Robin Greenhill, which outlined defendants' ongoing criminal operation. Once all all this information started rolling in, Carlissa decided to insert herself into it when she revealed on IG Live that Young Miami actually tried to recruit Krishan to be an expert at Diddy's freak offs. She said there was once a time when Miami started to get real close with Krishan and started taking her out all the time, but never really knew why. However, with everything that's come out about Diddy, she's now putting two and two together, and she believes that Miami was working on Diddy's orders to recruit Krishan. <laughs> trying to recruit um Krishan. That, that's what that's what Diddy and uh what's what the girl Krish Krish Karisha was trying to recruit Rock. Remember that when they was heavily trying to get Rock to hang out with them? I think they was trying to recruit her. She got a lot going on. We're gonna talk about it on this podcast and we're gonna get to the nitty gritty of all the gritty of the nitty. Cause it's it, it's necessary. I think the mother was trying to recruit her. Hey, remember they just had her pulling up to everything. Thought she about do you love her? Mm -hmm. you know yeah, about? remember? See what I'm saying? Oh, um, we don't, we don't, this podcast gonna be because y'all know the mama know everything, everybody business. So we gonna find out on this podcast.
We ain't gonna talk no about nobody. We ain't gonna mock nobody, but we definitely gonna explore the possibilities that was going on. Cause they kept calling her. Remember, pull up to the birthday party. Come over here and dance on Carisha. Remember that? I yeah. feel like they was trying to recruit that baby yeah. to be be that in on this. Sense. That makes sense. see what I'm saying? That's why I gotta have a podcast because I gotta get on the table. Mm -hmm. Can't nobody get it on the table but my nosy. Okay. Tasha K ain't she she over there making up I know we gonna get to the bottom of on this podcast. Tell me if I'm lying. Go on over there and tell me if I'm lying. I'm telling you, they was trying to recruit that baby. He said, let's get her away from him. Mm -hmm. That's what they was doing. We're going to put a couple pounds of that on her and have her fly. They ain't going to never suspect her. Damn, that would make so much sense. Mm -hmm. That's why he grabbed him and he said, what did he say? He said, do you love her or do you, she needs love. All she needs is love. Or All she like needs is love. Mm -hmm. Now, how about that? We're going to explore all the possibilities. Initially, people thought Carlissa was just trying to clout chase and get some attention from this whole mess since she said she was going to be getting into it on her podcast. But it didn't take long for people to dig out the receipts that proved that Miami was on the hunt for Krishan. People found a video of Krishan at one of Diddy's parties where he kept leaning over and kissing her face. Krishan looked very visibly uncomfortable and confused, so she tried to smoothly move back, but he was holding her very strong. In the same video, you can see her throwing it back at Carisha and they both seductively dance together. As if this wasn't weird enough, there's also this video from January where Krishan was narrating the time that Diddy jacked up the producer of Baddies, Lamel Plummer. She said Diddy invited her and Lamel to his private room, which was behind his actual house. This is the place where a lot of the secret things happen, so no phone was allowed in and Lamel wasn't allowed to bring security. Krishan said that as soon as she and Lamel got inside, Diddy was immediately aggressive off rip and grabbed Lamel by his collar. Apparently, Diddy was upset at Lamel because he was underpaying Krishan for being on baddies. Now, I was at first confused as hell when I heard this because what does her being underpaid by Lamel have to do with Diddy? However, considering the fact that Diddy was just trying to get Krishan to become one of his little s. People think this was just a stunt by Diddy to make Krishan feel like she was safe in his hands. But Krishan also said after that day, she and Lamel started having problems, but he did start to pay her better. So I set a price. I said 200000 You said 100 I said 150 I'm not going underneath that because what? I'm about to bring a lot to the table. That little party I went to, Diddy that? party. We went to the uh, little private area behind the, uh, cause he had a house behind his house. Like he had a house, a backyard with a, his backyard with a fat bed. And then it had like a miniature little whatever. And then we, me and Lemmy go upstairs. They tell him that he can't bring his security. He went in like a little, no security. So it's just me and Lemmy. We go up in there. Hold on. We go up in there. <laughs> we go upstairs. He's like, what's up, Diddy? Um, you know, you, you met Krishan. Uh, you uh, gave her kisses on the cheek uh, early early on in the party or whatever. Uh, we just wanted to follow up. Uh, I'm glad that you, you Krishan. And then he grabbed Lemmy by his neck and was like, but do you <laughs> with her? Like, don't play with her. All she need is love. Don't play with her. Don't play with her. So as y'all can see, Diddy and Miami were really working overtime to recruit Krishan, but it never worked out. Krishan just isn't as naive as they thought she was. As if this wasn't already disturbing enough, the rumors are now going around that the reason why Diddy even had his eyes set on Krishan in the first place was because Lamel had been servicing some of the girls from baddies to rich men, including Diddy, in exchange for money. This isn't the first time these rumors have come up, but judging this entire situation with Krishan, it looks like there's some truth to it. People even claim some of these girls get sent off to Africa to do freaky stuff with some of these politicians. Now, as usual, people have their own thoughts about this. Like this person who said, that's what I've been saying. Diddy used to work side by side with Lemmy. Lemmy used baddies cats for trafficking and smuggling. And a few months ago, Diddy pulled away from Zeus Network and Nick Cannon was the replacement.
innocent, so Lemmy won't be behind bars. Another person said, Now that I've read up on all this Diddy stuff, I knew it was a reason my stomach turned when I seen him complimenting Krishan and all in her ear at that event. But now I want to know your thoughts. What do y'all think about Young Miami almost recruiting Krishan? And do y'all think Krishan will be coming out to spill the tea soon about what happened? Y'all been knew what to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.